Affinity Photo does not come with a wave filter. Be really nice. It's a feature that's in Photoshop and also many other applications, but it doesn't have it in Affinity Photo. To do it, combination of a couple of filters and you can create many variations, which is also of interest. So let's go to start. Here's the original image and you need to create a design to work with in this. So I'm just going to go over here to layer and new layer and then edit and fill. And I'm just going to fill it with black. Now this is above this one. That's the key thing. I'm going to move it down later, but let's just start with that and click apply. So it's black. I can then go to filters and then down to colors and procedural texture. A very daunting filter, but one that is super powerful and has got presets. If you use RGB, if you're using RGB, you will see all these presets or quite a few of them. Now, what you can do, go and select waves. That's one. There's also another one below that. Let's just see waves. And there's also sine waves. So you can just see that, oh, maybe not that one, but waves. Waves, much more useful. You can vary it. So you can tweak this. You can also change it here if you wish and click apply. Now, this is great, but it's not exactly what I want. I need to blur it. If I apply it now, the result has got a bit of a sharpness that I don't really like. So I'm just going to apply a blur and you can apply all kinds of different blurs. So filters and go down to blur and Gaussian blur. So Gaussian blur is a good one. I'm going to set it to about 40, but you can apply, try the others as well. So Gaussian blur and you get that sort of effect. And again, you could tweak it, modify it maybe with sort of adjustment layers as well. And you can modify that. I'm saying, about 44, gonna go with that. So it's applied. Now to use it, need to drag this one below. Just drag it below and there it is, just below there. And now the background's on top. The wave effect is below. Then go to filters, make certain you're on the correct layer because I always forget and end up applying it to the wrong layer. And then go down to filters, distort, and then displace. So in displace now, I'll just go here and you've got Strength, you can modify that, it doesn't happen. Anything happens there, fortunately, you need to click here first. Load map from layers beneath. I wish it was locked, because that's the one I always use. I also use red, green offset. Doesn't seem to make any difference, whatever one I use. However, once you've got that, you can modify this, and you can see as you change that, you get different effects. You might push it that way, or push it that way, and you get a lovely wave effect and click apply. Now it's not exactly the same as the Photoshop wave effect, wave filter, but it still creates an interesting wave effect. But let's just undo that, because what you can do is just hide that. You can always go to this layer and you can distort this one. Now what you do, go to filters, you've got options here for distort, maybe use some of these effects here, but you can also go to like here, just there, liquefy, just click there, just up here. Now this is one I don't particularly use a huge amount. So if I go wrong, that's the reason. But you can, of course, just distort it. Now you can see there is a problem at the top. You're always going to have that because obviously it's nothing beyond it. But you can manipulate it this way. You could distort it and you create all kinds of different distortions, which sort of gets like a bit like the Photoshop one where you've got generators and then click apply over here. And once you've got that, again, you can go back here and put this back on again and i've got that one yeah does not always update it here unfortunately okay next thing to do go to filters distort and then down here to displace again and then with that you've got this filter here again you have to remember to click this if you don't do that nothing happens so load maps from layers beneath and now strength and you can see instead of the wave you had before you've still got a wave effect but now you've got a more unusual wave applied. And of course, there's other distortions. You could maybe flatten it, use warps and things just to distort it in many other ways as well. So again, all the same settings and click apply. Now, another thing you can always do, filters, repeat, distort. So you can apply it again. So you get another wave effect on top of that and so on. So you can see, you can create sort of affinity photo wave filter effects. That's a pity. Again, that there is no actual wave filter. Hope you found this of interest. Any thoughts, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. And also, what sort of things would you like to see in a wave filter if you add 
a wave filter in Affinity Photo, do you think they should add different blurring effects? I think that a smoothness would be great. It would be great also, of course, in the displace as well. I do not know why displace does not have a smoothness feature. It just seems odd thing not to have. 